Sarah, if you could just kind of walk us through your race today and how things played out from your perspective. Sure. Um, so it was a bit windy today and um, a bit choppy in that water and cool. That was probably it's the coldest race that I've done this year, so that felt a little bit different. Um, you know, I, right away on the swim, I got on Flora's feet the first 400 meters, and then about 500 meters or so into the swim, we kind of traded off positions, and I led for a majority of the second half of the swim. Um, getting out, running to my bike, I felt good. Um, you know, the swim wasn't too taxing. I wanted to hold a little bit back in the swim to really work the bike. That was my game plan for today. So got on the bike and Flora and I working really well together. This course suited team time trial really well. Uh, the roads are really smooth. The turns were smooth and, and pretty wide as well that you can carry a lot of speed through them. So, um, and, and tactically, <laughs> I was thinking, okay, at a certain point, um, I, with knowing Flora was my main competition, you know, when you're riding with your main competition, you gotta think, you know, what are you gonna do tactically? So, there was a section into the race on the end of the sixth lap. I decided I was gonna commit. Um, There's a strong headwind, and we worked in my aerodynamics on, on my Fuji and tried to simulate time trial position. I actually rode my TT helmet, and I just committed. Basically, for about two minutes, it's just like you're seeing blood. I mean, the lactate's up there. I know I have to push as hard as I can. And I figured into the headwind was a good time to go because if the roads were so wide, if I just went to the opposite side of the road and just went um, with the aerodynamics of my bike, I possibly would be able to get away. And I got that initial gap. And then basically, the last lap, um, continue to put time in, but also tried to spin my legs up because I wanted to clear that lactate out of my legs from that jump because that was, you know, I wouldn't normally do that in a TT race and build all that lactate. So, so my legs out started the run um, pretty uh, strong, but not too hard. And Flora, um, she was going really well the first two laps. I mean, she wasn't, um, I think she gained actually a couple seconds on me. So that keeps the pressure on. And um, I still felt strong at the end of the run, which I was, I was happy about. You know, I've been working on starting off the run a little slower so that at the end of the run I continue to have my speed. So, um, couldn't be more happy. It was my second nationals and, um, you know, I have one race left of the season and, you know, despite not making London, I, I can't be disappointed with my season. I think this was my seventh first for the year. So, you know, you got to take, you got to appreciate every win and, um, Thank all the employees. I know it was, or the employees, the volunteers for setting everything up because it was brutal last night with the rain. So I'm sure it wasn't easy for everyone. So. Is this win more special in that it does, uh, you know, give you another national title? For sure. I mean, I I haven't raced national since I think it was 2008. Gosh, that'd be right. Yeah, because 2009, what what started happening was there was um, a lot of WCS races just before or just after nationals, and you know I didn't want to go into those races fatigued, and um, so yeah, it's been it's been four years, wow, since I've raced nationals. But um, you know, for me, I, I love to race, and with being based out of Florida this month, it was a quick direct flight, and um, figured, hey, why not get to go to Niagara Falls tomorrow and. Um, have a second national title it's it's uh it's special for sure especially like i said with not making uh london it's it's nice to be able to walk away with the win